screen. I'm going to start the recording and I am going to start the. Can you turn on the the captions or whatever it is? Yeah. Got it. Right. Thank you. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you and welcome. Welcome to our 2023. This is our second metrics model meeting. It's good to see everybody. And I think we have a few things that would be great to kind of go through today. So if you could, minutes were in the chat, if you could add yourself, um, that would be great. And I'll do that right now. Um, so let's see, just a, a few things, just kind of some details. First, I guess I'd like to say officially Happy New Year to everybody. That's really great to see all of our friends. Um, we are going to be using this new document for our meeting minutes. Uh, so just kind of make note of that. It shouldn't be too difficult. Elizabeth, I do think you updated the the calendar invite with them as well, maybe. Did I? I'll look. I I'll make sure. I think you did. Okay. Um, while you're doing that, do you also want to tell us real quickly? So for Yahoo in June, we're moving off of the email list. So we do have a we have Slack, which we're keeping, obviously. And we have an email list, and we're getting rid of that email list just because it's old and dumb, and we don't really, don't really use it. So we're going to be using a tool called Discourse. And I think uh, Elizabeth, it's going to launch officially on the site tomorrow. Is that correct? Yeah, it'll be later today for you okay. folks. But, yeah, um, exactly. yeah, it will be. And um, I think Yahoo, you've already seen it, I believe. You already have an account there because you got yeah 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 i already uh, tried on that yeah good 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 so yeah we're hoping that it it takes off um it's an experiment so it may not um but we're hoping that it does um and there will be more to come on that tomorrow we're gonna post i think we'll do i really don't like to do this but i think we're gonna do like an at all message to everybody on slack to point them says, to the new just says hey no yeah. no to everybody okay yeah I mean, it's, it's like, only, like it's only one. People, but we don't do it often or ever, often. so true. that's not a big deal. True, true. true. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that so that's there. I started a couple of threads just to kind of seed it a little. One is like about introductions, and one's about open source conferences. So just so yep, people have that. a place to post something, like you go okay. on this forum and you don't know what to do next. So um, if you all have any other ideas, you want to start, you want to post anything about this meeting or whatever, uh, feel free to do that. Those of you who do have accounts already. Yeah, so, my, one of my thoughts was because there seems to be a lot of overlap between what happens in this meeting and, you know, Yahui and June, we started a, a um, OSPO meeting that doesn't work for your time, but there, there's a lot of, we talk about metrics models basically the entire time because that's what OSPO, OSPO yeah. managers want. And so probably in discourse, I'll, we'll probably start um, starting some threads around metrics models that OSPOs want to see. And I think we can have those discussions there. That was a thought. Yeah, we can continue that discussion through the discourse. Perfect. Maybe okay. start start from start from OSPO working group or start from our, our group. That's yeah, fun. and I think together we can come together and just share a channel because the discussions are very, very similar between yeah. the two. Okay, great. Um, okay, great. Any any other comments on discourse, Elizabeth? All good? Okay, right on. Okay, so let's see. We did have a pull request that I think we can take a look at. Yuhui, I think this is one from you. It's a name change, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I submitted like two weeks ago before the Chinese New Year. Okay. Uh, basically, it just to change the title. I mean, the model's name uh, yep. from the quality guarantee to collaboration development index. Okay. Is that yeah. really? Is that that? That's it. And with just a little bit of why it matters, a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the the code quality is kind of a sensitive word in in the open source or in the software development. If we cannot say directly uh, what does code quality mean in our metrics model, it's kind of confused the people to say uh, how to mirror that. So uh, if we step into the, the, the matrix included by this model, we can say it's more talking about the co collaboration through the issue, through the pull okay. request. So we would like to change the name 
uh, actually this uh, the name changing actually coming from a lot of comments from my colleagues and friends from China. Okay. So I also like would like to hear your comments. I personally, yeah. I, when I took a look at it, it made sense to me and your description helped quite a bit, particularly if if the collaboration component was kind of core in that metric, then mm -hmm. I think it's great. I think it seems like a very straightforward change. Yeah, and also, uh, you know, we talk a lot of, about our tags, the keyword tags and the context tags. So yeah, up here. Uh, yeah. I, I add something <laughs> on that. Uh, I know we have some uh, already defined, predefined uh, context tags, like yes. community software and like keyword tags. I, I cannot remember, do we already have some uh, predefined tags for no, this area? that's up to you. You could, you could put like collaboration in there. Mm -hmm. You could put development process in there. You put whatever you think is a good keyword. And and also, um, uh, I'm thinking if uh, is, is there any, um, um, I mean, the easy way to distinguish uh, if it's a metric or metrics model, do we need to add some um, predefined keyword or yeah. context tags? Oh. For Elizabeth, that. Do you want to comment on that, kind of how we're separating those? Yeah, I can. Um, so the way the website works is there is a separate category um, or the way it's like named. So it will say uh, KB dash metrics model, I believe. I'll, sh I'll show you an example. Hang on. Let me get, let me get a URL for you. Or yeah, you can go to the site and see if you want to try it, to do it in real time. So if you go over to, yeah. So it searches the models, but there's like, like if you click on, uh, I think, uh -huh. yeah, go to uh -huh. all metrics models. And if you see how it says metrics model colon code quality guarantee, that's how we're naming them all. And we're also putting them in that metrics model category. Okay. So wow. it should pull up if you click on that. Did you click on that? There it goes. Okay. And you can Great. see at the top of the URL will say metrics dash model, whatever it is. So yeah. Okay. It's a uh, it have a pre prefix like a metrics model, blah blah blah. in the URL. Yeah, and it will go in that all metrics models category as well. Cool, cool. I'm looking yep. here. It looks like we don't have links to those. Links to what? Those metrics in the metrics model, like see how they're I not be... ratio. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. Well, CI test is not done. Okay. So you know? okay, that. So we we released this one without all the metrics developed. Yeah, I was just gonna say I didn't I did not <laughs> realize that we had done that because <laughs> that's a discussion for later today yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice we have this topic. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe that's um, all discussion. Hello. Hi June. Hi June. I, I, I see in, in the in the website link and uh, KB. So we put all the metrics module and the metric in uh, under the KB, right? Yeah, it's a knowledge base. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. KB is a is knowledge base, right? Correct. It is. Yeah. 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 Yep. And so, if I am curious, like if I, so here, if I even start searching on metrics, ah. oh, I really like this search engine. What's the back end of this search engine? It's just quite good. It's, the, it's all in a plugin of uh, the knowledge base plugin. We're using Minerva. Uh huh. So yeah, it does that automatically. The only bad thing, and I've been trying to find out how to fix this. See where it says very, very lightly four results right there in the up in the search box. If there are no results, it just says zero results. And that's the only place it tells you you don't have any results. So it's like super like like it's not like you don't even know if you've done it. Like you know this. what I mean? Like is it even tried? Like what's right what's, now? Yeah. yeah. Just tweaking the website, but yeah. Okay. So maybe yeah. if if he, if someone type type a, some special word that uh, he's looking for, and uh, there's no ready metric or metrics model, 
they can uh, the, the the return bike page would uh, would tell them how to submit a new new oh, metric or metric model. That's an interesting idea. That would be amazing. Yeah. 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 Not finding what you're looking for, <laughs> create it. <laughs> create one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, and then also to these are the if you notice these are the keyword or I'm sorry these are the context tags these topic areas, and so when you click on, so like once we get, once we right right now, this doesn't have the context tags in it. But once like you had chosen, whoops, hold on a second. I hate how that banner goes up where I want to be sometimes. Um, you had chosen community, software, ecosystem, and contributor. So contributor, it would now be in this list as well. Once yep. we get that set up, it would just yep. be, be metric model colon and then name of it so yeah that would be great okay great um okay so elizabeth do you want to merge this while i kind of sure do other thingies and so then honestly at that point we can merge this and then you we, we could just do another pr to add different keyword tags that yeah fine. And I can I can probably add some of those, but they can just be any words that you would like that you think <laughs> would help in a search. Okay, great. Um, thank you. We'll probably be merged here shortly. Did you get it, Elizabeth? Yeah, I had to uh, approve the review before, so yeah. Okay, gotcha. Second. Okay. I lost my tab. Also, I should probably check. Has this been updated here, Yuhui? Uh -huh, I, I forgot. I forgot to change the name. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I I need to update the name here, but okay. maybe we maybe later we can go through the all the uh, all the sheet uh, to to yeah. the content. Yeah, and, and we're uh, actually we're kind of doing that today too. Yeah, we are actually kind of going through some of them on the sheet because I'd like to get all these readies. Yep. Um, okay, so it's, it's just updating row fifteen right there. Okay. Okay. What is it? Collaboration development index. Is that what it's called? Uh, yeah. Currently, collaboration development. Okay, I'll, I'll fix some of that. Okay. Um, There's another um, pull request out there from me, Matt, if you want to merge that in. Okay, hold on just a second. Sure, um, sure. cool um that one yeah and i used the wrong terminology so just ignore the permalink thing do you just want me to, is what what is what are you what is this just adding links to the metric the metric oh, okay. models that we uh -huh. have ready okay. those the page id links okay gotcha so yui did you know about this yeah i i actually Go through the, the the pull request, but I haven't gave any comments. Yeah, you, you can move that. Okay. So basically, I'm I'm sorry. The, I was going to say, Yuhui, the discussion was just how we um, create permanent links for people to reference the metrics and the metrics models. So mm -hmm. for example, like the one that you just had, the name changed. And mm -hmm. if we change the name of the metric model, then mm -hmm. that changes a link that somebody may have out there in the world. So we're, we're recommending that people use permalinks 
when they actually mm -hmm. like non change okay. things. That's that's it. And we figured out a good way to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So eventually we'll add that to that metrics model to say if you're gonna reference this in some way, use this link and it'll have like the page ID instead of the name of the metric. So we'll all add that in what now once it's out on the website and I have that. I know that. that I remember we missed the we 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 met, we met a lot of the similar uh, problem before that we always lost our metrics links. Yes, yeah. and so we think we have it fixed now. So yeah, that's great. All right. I think, I think we, Kevin is adding that to every metric as well. I don't know if that's been completed, but I know he's working on it. So yeah, we're adding it to every metric and every metric model. And then in the future, Yuhui, it's not something that as you create a metric model that you have <laughs> that you're responsible for. We'll just take care okay. of it. We'll just take care of it on the back end because it has to be published first, and then yeah, yeah, and then, then we can yeah. confirm a link. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay, great. Um, super good discussion so far. Um, so I do just want to draw attention, Yuhui, I'm guessing you saw this because you commented on it and you told me in the minutes that you're actually <laughs> preparing to verify this in Compass. So yeah, <laughs> imply that you have seen this. Um, I yeah. do just want to bring it up here. I don't know if you have comments on it, but. I think it's great. I, I... I think we can just wait in, uh, wait for Dawn's pull request. Okay. And uh, yeah, and after that, uh, I can organize the people from Compass to verify that through. Uh, but uh, you you can <clears throat> you can create an issue in in Compass. I I add a link. Uh, uh, in, in, okay. In that in that link. Okay. We'll add a link to the merged PR. Uh, no, I mean you can create you can submit an issue. In Compass Community Project, uh, and uh, I also add uh, the, the issue template. Yeah, this link. Uh, the, the the no no this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can see that. Uh, I also mentioned if if this idea are coming from chaos. You can just uh, touch the metrics model definition link here directly, and then we can go through the work. I can uh, the second part, the comments, the second comments. No, uh, through through up, uh, go go up. The explanation. Uh, I mean, I mean the comments. Explanation. If it is an idea coming from chaos metrics model working group. Yeah. And uh, you can you can touch you can touch a metrics definition link here directly. I am and, completely uh, lost. I'm sorry. I'm not. Uh, I, I I added I added description here, the second uh, paragraph. Oh, this. Yeah, I'm this sorry. <laughs> Brain. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If it's an idea coming from the Western Working Group, you can attach. Okay, so this would, if we do that, then would we just delete all this? No, we don't have to do that because we have a clear definition for that already. Okay, so we just point to the, to, we'll just point to to Don's merged. Yeah, you don't have to add the the, the similar description again for this metrics okay. model. We okay. added for for the in case. I got gotcha. you. So it makes this a very easy issue then. Because, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I because gotcha. because I'm thinking if this idea coming from uh you know out of chaos, other other people, they may yes. don't know how to define this metrics model. So actually, it's also definition uh, template. I copy from your template. It's yeah, a yeah. template. No problem. <laughs> I just want to follow. They they are the, exactly the same uh, format. Okay. No, because... this is great. Okay, and then you have projects to verify that you did add this down here. Yeah, uh, I'm actually I'm I want to make Dong's uh, metrics model as the first uh, uh, you know verified model in in, in the Compass Lab, okay. and uh, and uh, once we done that, we uh, through this issue we would provide a list of uh, uh, project to select to say uh, which pro project you would, would like to be verified on this metrics model, and okay. we can trigger this. Okay, that sounds good. So. If I was to add <coughs> Don's merged markdown file, I would mm -hmm. basically just 
just delete this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and uh, you can you may have some specific um, project you would to verify through this matrix model. Okay. You can you can add your your project. We, if if this project doesn't exist yet, we can help you add it directly gotcha. into through Compass. the through the, yeah. the the YAML file. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Makes sense. Elizabeth, did you follow that too? Um, mostly. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> it, it finally it dawned on me that we're looking at the OSS Compass. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was really confusing to me because I'm just assuming it's in the chaos, and I'm like, wait, what? Then we have what this? is going on here? <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's going in Compass. Okay, I'm with you. So this is this is basically to um, to assist to kind of highlight for Compass that there's a new metrics model that could be deployed or that yeah. could be implemented, and if. If the model already exists in chaos, we don't need to redefine it here. We can just point to the merged markdown file for the ex existing metric. And also, if this metrics model is uh, it's not coming uh, originally, it's not coming from from chaos. Uh, during the discussion, we would recommend them to to submit a new. Uh, 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 new metrics models uh, request in, in the in, in chaos community. We would like look like to to share it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, right. If you're able to, if somebody submits a metric model request here, we would love to see it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, great. That makes sense. Good. Um, okay, so great. I think, and I think that whole starter project metrics model once done. Elizabeth, once Don gets that merged, that PR done, um, like that one's going to be good to go. And I think because all four of those metrics are developed without question. Mm -hmm. And so we should be good. Okay. Yeah. Um, any other comments on that? That's pretty cool. All right. Um, let's see. I, I did just want to put this out in the, the last to do meeting. And I, I don't quite know. I haven't thought through this very much, but a model for understanding cohorts. So like collections of different repositories. So how you might go about understanding collections of repositories. And I'm not, so the, the reference was, if I recall, Don had brought up this the starter project health metrics model. And there was a request like, hey, could we point this metric model, not just at one repository, but a collection of repositories to get an understanding of, of that collection. So I'm not sure if this would be a new metric model or if it would just be kind of a, a description in, for example, the starter project health metric model that says, hey, you know, you can point this at not only just a single metric, or I'm sorry, not a single project, but you could point it to at a collection of projects as well. Uh, actually, I'm thinking that, um, you know, for some specific uh, community, they would have some main project or main repository that would used by uh, used for to produce the, the final software artifact. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we only monitor on a youth one metric model on this repository, that good enough to describe the home community because this community have such one main uh, project yeah. repository. Yeah. But as you mentioned, if for some big communities like chaos they have many different working group and many different groups have their own repositories yeah and um, and in this way <clears throat> we would define a uh, repository level uh, matrix model i mean you use matrix model to describe a uh, repository level mm -hmm. uh, monitoring and uh, and another way is a community level monitoring yeah. On, on the two the different thing and also if we consider in light um, for one community they would have two different type of repositories one is for uh, one type is for the uh, software artifact mm -hmm. you know uh, they produce the main product product uh, as the op as the output uh, of the community and um, they also have some specific repositories used for used by uh, this community, <clears throat> like uh, uh, like uh, infrastructures, 
and uh, also the website. And also, for example, in our chaos commu uh, co community, we have uh, one repository called community. Okay. This repository, it doesn't, uh, this, this repository doesn't produce any software artifact, but Correct. it played a lot of key important role in the governance um, areas. So uh, we can divide uh, these two kind of different uh, repositories and, and as, a, as a, the, the two areas of the same communities mm -hmm. and uh, to let this matrix model to monitor as the whole one as the one community. So I, I, I agree. And I think you said that real well. So this, it sounds like this type of suggestion would be not a metric model itself, but more of a, a description in this metric model. And to yep. your point, Yui, like we could look at the starter project health metrics model across all working group repositories because they all kind of function the same you know, yeah. common DEI metrics models. And you're right, they don't, none of those produce software. And, and how we might understand time to first response, time to close, bus factor and release frequency would be very different than how we would understand it from the Grimoire Lab grouping of repositories. Yep. Which, and so I might, might wanna give that some thought I think we all agree, might want to give that some thought as to how we would go about saying that. Uh, for example, if if uh, in the in this matrix model, yeah. there are some specific metrics, they are all talking about uh, the development related um, metrics like um, like time time to close yeah. is about the development one. We can we can just uh, using this metric to, to mirror the repository, which is responsible for the product, I mean, the software artifact. Mm -hmm. And for, for some specific, um, um, uh, for some specific uh, metric like um, bus factor, yeah. uh, and maybe it's not just about development. It's uh, it's also about operational and op operation actions and and uh, governance actions. We need to put this metric on on more metrics except for the uh, the software art artifact repositories like communities like like uh, some other uh, repositories. Yeah. And the release frequency uh, is kind of it, it. I think we need to find out what's the final output of this community. And uh, for our chaos community, I, I, I mean, in our community, I mean, the scenar scenario is, is really good enough for, for to cover all the cases because our, our community, uh, including the metrics and metrics model as the final output, and also included the, the two uh, software tools like yep. Augur and, uh, and Grimoire Lab. Yep. So uh, maybe we, we need to point out uh, what does this release frequency mean for this community? It does, it, it's only, it's, if we focus on the chaos, uh, if we focus on the metric and the metrics model, uh, this two, even they have the different uh, uh, release period, but we can use some uh, average uh, value or, or just to pick one of the uh, like metric uh, period as the result of this uh, metric. So does, does this tie to this comment at all? Or is that just very- No, no, no. No, very different from that, yes. Yep. Okay. Um, do you, so are you, Hui, are you suggesting that that commentary, the story that you were just telling is, is part of this metric model, that it would be something we add to this model, or is it the creation of a new metric model where we say there's a starter project health metrics model that we think about from a software perspective, and there's a project health starter or whatever, pro, starter project health. No, metrics no, no. Model. Um, 
we can use any of single metrics model to to monitor any of single okay. repositories. Okay. And uh, and also if if this community they would like to stand from the community level, we need to integrate. Uh, uh, you know, you know, have a more com comprehensive view on this uh, to to use this matrix model on a community, especially when this community have um, multiple multiple projects. Uh, sorry, repositories. You know, maybe we can use uh, some other case, like um, some other. Um, uh, uh, I mean some other uh, open source project. Uh, basically, they have two different kind of type, uh, kind of uh, repositories. Uh, one group is, is a, a software artifact repositories. The other one is for governance and, uh, and, uh, and uh, operations. So um, every, <clears throat> every uh, software artifact repositories they would pick up uh, the metric, which is uh, focused on the development and software uh, software uh, artifact. Okay. And uh, some of the is focused on the collaborations or uh, the governance. And we can use this metrics to 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 uh, to mirror on those uh, okay. uh, repositories. And finally, we got a, a, a general uh, result, or final result, uh, standing from a community way. Okay. Um, I like that. Elizabeth, I don't know if you have thoughts on this as well. You good? Yeah, I think maybe we could differentiate um, what type of repository this model is for, either in the title or in the context slash keyword tags or in the description. Okay. I put, I put this out of the minutes too. Mm -hmm. Just I'm curious what Don thinks as well. Yeah. Yeah, because, because like starter project like that yeah. could be anything. So yeah, I think that was kind of the gist of that com that comment was like, oh well because, starter means yeah. a lot different depending on what you're doing. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because currently uh, so all the th cases we are talking about is mentioned is about data we fetch from from the uh, GitHub, uh, such code code uh, code uh, host platform, but uh, we also can fetch the data from uh, from Slack, Discourse, and yep. any other data sources. But but this uh, these uh, types of data sources. Um, they are more related to the governance and the operation. So for this data sources, we can more considering it's uh, okay. This, of course, it's a part of the community uh, to uh, actions carried out by different channels. And um, they should uh, uh, to describe the specific uh, case uh, except for the uh, direct development actions, mm -hmm. like uh, like uh, yeah, like event, like some event set, uh, set up meet meet up, yep. yeah, we need considering it a uh, special case, but uh, it should be part of the community way to see how it going on yep. for one specific metrics model. Yep. No, I like that. Okay, um, let me. Let me stop that here. You, you, if you have comments that you want to put, maybe just put them in here at this point. You know what I mean? Outside of what you were talking about here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I think it's not just important to specific for this metrics model. It's all about yeah, it's for some for other. Them. Yeah, it could be for all of them, I think. Yeah. Maybe I can show you some example on the Compass. Uh, we, we, actually already thinking about this way. Uh, you want to share your screen? Yeah, so, just a quick. Yeah, sure. I'm going to make you co-host, OK? Yeah. OK, you're good. Go ahead. Yeah, 
if you want to sign a, uh, submit a new project here, you can su submit a single repository. Okay. You know, just the one. Oh, you know, okay. You can run for a community with multiple repositories. And do they just, they all collapse together on the yeah. single model? Okay. Yeah, submit uh, uh, as a community. And uh, you can add uh, the community, uh, add, uh, add repositories oh, from this community. Okay. So you're doing this. Yeah, software artifact repositories and the governance repositories. So you can, oh. you can type the repositories okay. you want to add. So like Grimoire yeah. Lab could just add all of the different, different Grimoire yeah. Lab repositories. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. You can you can add for that, and uh, if you click that on that in yeah. our uh, metrics model, we will uh, to distinguish these two types of repositories here. Okay. And That's give the, the different algorithm on that. For the different different views of the different collections. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like. You're always a step ahead of us, Yuhui. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can send to you, you can try on that. But, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's great. Thanks. So Yuhui, just to clarify, would that governance include like the documentation and the website and like all of that kind of like high level stuff? Yeah, yeah more or less, but uh, actually, uh, yeah, that's right for a website, but the, the documentation we think of as a part of software artifact because it's come along with the software after to describe the user guide. So okay. people, yeah. But for some, you know, a contribution guide for such documentation, of course, it's a part of the governance uh, uh, so, uh, repositories, but for some uh, uh, user, user, user guide, especially, it should be the part of the software artifact. Yeah. And from, from the looks of it, Elizabeth, I mean, it looks like you could define any repository that you declare as governance just by whatever you submit. So yeah, yeah. yeah that's fair. we may give some, yeah, maybe in, in chaos, we may give, give some suggestions on what kind of repository you can think, think of it. Yeah, like, like the advantage. community repository would be kind of more towards governance, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. Software. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we don't have releases, obviously, and all of that kind of, yeah. yeah. No, right, exactly. Okay, cool. All right, great. All right. Well, let me let me come back here. Um, we're you know we, we only have ten minutes left. Um, let's see. This was next on the list. Yuhui, did you want to mention this? Yeah, I just like it. Yeah, actually, I'm seeking for the uh, uh, the help on that. Oh, uh, help. Because, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, so next month we would. Uh, uh, Oops. Um, sorry. Know what I what did? did. <laughs> I, I have no idea what button I pushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We would have, yeah, we would have this summit in next month, uh, uh, Feb February uh, uh, 21st, and uh, we would invite a lot of people from, from China, uh, from the open source communities, uh, from some uh, organizations, and uh, we would uh, tell them uh, how, how the OSS Compass works and how we sell, uh, co set up collaborations between the chaos yeah. and, uh, and the compass. So uh, maybe I, I would like uh, chaos could give us a celebration video on that. We would broadcast on that on, uh, on the event. Uh, yeah, of, do, you have, on, on, online. do you have like, like how long, what you would want uh, to talk like, about? Like, like, uh, like seven, seven minutes. That, that would be good enough. Okay, and is it just about like who chaos is and how, um, how yeah. we are collaborating? Yep, exactly. Okay, how and uh, we can work together. together yeah. yeah. Okay, like that, that kind of stuff? Yep. Okay. I think it's a, it's a good time to 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 introduce chaos and to see uh, how how set up the uh, the collaboration between between China and and the international communities together to mm -hmm. on the on the metrics and the metrics model. Looking at you, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can just stay up stay up tonight and do it. <laughs> 
right. It will not be. That's what you should do when you wake up in the middle of the night. Just start recording this video. Yeah, it's, it's not going to turn out well, Matt. I'm just. Like, <laughs> it might be also, instead of buying stuff on mind. Amazon. <laughs> yeah, you know, we were just talking about how I end up buying things on Amazon at like 3 a.m. because I'm worried about dumb stuff, and I'm like, oh, I definitely need this book on organizing my whole house that I will never read ever. <laughs> At 3 a.m. So I need a blocker is what I need on the Amazon app. Yes, that's what we were talking about earlier. Perfect. All right. Um, when would you like it by Yahoo? If the event is 21st. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a week ahead, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that would be good. Because we would like to, uh, except for the video, you can give us the script uh, in English. We can translate it into Chinese. Okay. And when we broadcast it, um, you know, our people could uh, could uh, say it easily, no okay. matter if uh, familiar with English or or not. Okay, that should be easy enough. I'm thinking Elizabeth like recorded on Zoom, even. You know what I mean? That'll do translations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or I well, mean, it'll do transcription. I should say. Yeah, I don't know how accurate it is, but <laughs> I usually, I would write out what I'm going to say anyway, so I will write it all out and then I will give it to you, Yuhui. So you may have that before you get the actual video for sure. So yeah, I but I'll do my best to get that uh, video to you by the 14th. I suppose seven minutes isn't terribly long either, like in terms of, it's like, like the slide deck I just put together for FOSDEM. I mean, that's... It's plenty of words right there, you know. Yeah, you should thing. let me use that because I absolutely will. Yeah, you, just... you can use that. <laughs> I'll hopefully it'll be here, but. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, great. Um, And maybe just in the last five minutes, I do just want to talk about, what's this? Security problem? Oh. Uh, I think you that, just that. I, I, I just, yeah, I just put, put it on it. It, uh, I and Ye Hui, we both got the email about we, in the metric module reference, we have uh, the CVE. So yeah, we will have to visit. fix it. What? Yeah, we what, yeah what we, the, this because yeah. the, our we use, uh, we use, and you can say, get oh. person. Package so we have to update our git and package to the newest uh, newest version. Okay, that's good. this is was this with Grimoire Lab? Uh, no, I think it's from. No. Uh, yeah. Which one? I think what? it's actually from the implementation part of the of the matrix model. We, oh. Yeah. We import like, some modules, passing modules. Get book? Is that yeah. what we're yeah. Okay. But we can fix that. It's quite easy. Just okay. uh, uh just yeah. upgrade. Just an update. To, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, just update it. So I, I put put it on this just to let, let everybody know it and maybe uh, did, you, did you put uh, an after issue this? somewhere? Yeah, could you put an issue somewhere, June? Okay. Yep. Okay. Just so we track it. Okay. Uh oh, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, in our last four minutes, I do have a question for people, and it's really this question right here. Um, do we want to release metrics models without all of the metrics being published? So we, in the U.S., right, we say it's a chicken and egg problem, right? We don't know what comes first. <laughs> Is it the chicken or the egg? And so, uh, yeah, chicken eggs, right? Great. Uh, but but what what's the what's the deadline? Uh, I mean, the frozen time for the metrics release. Um, so all of, I mean, any metric can be released at any time, and so we have a rolling release for all metrics. But then every uh -huh. six months, we kind of have like an official, like here were the metrics. But we might now that we have the new website set up, we might just actually run with rolling releases. And just every now and then announce, you know what I mean? Like, hey, in the last six months, these were the metrics that were published. So the rolling release really seems to be the way to go. Yeah, I, I, I think okay. It's if it's not about uh, the period release, like a half year release, that to to produce a PDF format. Yeah. 
white paper. Uh, on that case, um, I mean, we would match, we would meet a lot of similar cases in the following work. Like, um, uh, you know, a lot of working group are working on the metrics model. They will come up a lot of new ideas yeah, exactly. about metrics. So if we, we, we have to wait every metrics definition ready to before release our metrics model, they, it would have, um, uh, it would stop a lot of things, uh, progress going on in the metrics model work. So I'm suggesting that uh, we can, um, once we have a new metrics model, yeah. And in this metrics model, we have several uh, metrics uh, are not ready yet in our chaos, but uh, uh, but we need to set up uh, 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 Google Google documentation to write a, a basic template uh, yeah. to write a basic description on these metrics, even if it's not ready on our chaos. But we would know that we have us. Uh, something something to track the progress and also may need to uh, create an issue on the specific metric uh, uh working, working group. group yeah so we, you know, yeah so you're you're inclined it sounds like you're you're for releasing metric models even if all the metrics aren't developed yet is that correct yeah yeah i'm i'm with you i'm kind of in that that because uh, yeah the, because i'm thinking as i mentioned uh, because a lot of metrics model would come up in the following years uh, yeah so we we should not uh, uh stuck by this kind of case well, my my thing is to the the metrics themselves we've learned over the years they're helpful but they're not all, all the way helpful. The metrics models are really what people want to see. <laughs> That's these are the yep. things that people care about a lot. So I'm kind of inclined for that too. What do you think, Elizabeth? I know we're at the end of time, but yeah, I I push back just a little just because it feels incomplete and we're releasing it, and I don't like that. Like I want it to like hand someone a, a full package of like here's all yep. the information. Um, and so it makes me feel a little weird, but I, I don't have that strong of feelings. But the second um, half of that is that I just, I'm afraid that some of these metrics never get developed. Like they just kind of fall through the cracks and we don't have anybody that's, that's like owning them or working on them or, you know, so that would be my only concern is like, just to yeah. make sure those metrics gotcha. don't fall. Gotcha. I yeah. think it's, it should our responsibility. I mean, our working group's responsibility to following all the metrics model as, as the, 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 progress i mean the metrics in this metrics model if they are not ready yet maybe after after every two um two months or or, or six months we will go through all the metrics model that contains that are included uh, uh sorry unimplemented uh, uh, uh metrics. metrics yeah and uh, we will uh, track the progress so to to solve the the, the problem mentioned by Elizabeth. Yeah, and Yuhui, we'd even talked about it's not resolved yet, but not kind of not asking the working groups to develop metrics anymore, but just having a single metrics development group that there's there's a group of us <laughs> that kind of knows how to develop metrics at this point. And they're not, uh -huh. you know, some of them are not that complicated. So like, honestly, before this meeting here, Elizabeth is the event count metric. You know what I mean? And this is, this was the attendee count metric that I just turned it into the total number of event counts. So I just modified it. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't that hard. Mm -hmm. And here's the CI build time. Like we had a lot of comments and it's actually, this one's pretty not done, but it's getting pretty close as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I think between like us here in the call and just kind of, if we could build a group of people kind of like badgers mm -hmm. that help us develop metrics, we could probably move a lot faster than if we kick them to like evolution and then, then it is an issue and, you yeah. know. Yeah, because if you think about it, these metrics that are listed here have been open for ever, right? Like for months, they've yeah. been kind of hanging out there and there isn't really anybody to kind of bring them in for the landing. 
Um, yeah. So yeah, I love that. I personally love that idea of just having a group that's just focused on the, that one task of like, let's crank and these metrics out. My guess is that from the number of people we have on the newcomers channel, we could build a team of people who had an interest to, to one learn, we'd have to probably do some education on how to build metrics and like where to place them and how to track them. You know what I mean? So we're not just building them into the, into space. Um, and as you have questions, so for example, like if you're doing change request age, you know, and this one is not built out right, right yet, but like if somebody's taking it, trying to read the other change request metrics and trying to build it out as they have questions, they would know who to ask or what working group to bring it to themselves as opposed yeah. to just an issue. I, the more I think about this, the more I like a badger team, <laughs> you know, a, a metric yeah. team. We need to give they them a break. They know where the template is. They know what, you know. They know where to like, take it. Like, Where's the template? I don't remember, you know, it's just so it's a little rough, but yeah. Do we have uh, some place to place the, all the, uh, all the, uh, requirement like this uh, unimplemented metrics uh, as an issue to say, okay, uh, this bunch of uh, metrics are not implemented yet, are waiting for we, someone we to help. Don't. Right now it's distributed across like five working groups. And that's the problem is that we, yeah. we ship but it out. We can, we, we, we can put it on, the, on our discourse forum. We, yeah, like if we just had one central place to track the yeah. metrics that we need developed. Yeah. I mean, Elizabeth did it right here, but like, uh, you know, minutes are not really the place to do it. You know, because this is these are the minutes localized to this working group and only five of us are seeing them right now. Like, that's not enough. Yeah. Okay, well, I like this idea. Maybe we just kind of start doing this, Elizabeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, and then the uh, idea... Uh, Argument would be after is, easy, after okay. it is a piece of wake up. Yeah, <laughs> after you <laughs> well, sleep, you can totally go to sleep. <laughs> and our argument is we can we can finalize them in the working groups because we have a liaison that brings them to the working group to to talk through it. So like issues updated would clearly go to the evolution working group. That's where all of our issue metrics are. You know what I mean? But they could take a they, a person or a group of people could take a pass at building that metric and then put it on the evolution working group agenda one day and say, hey, we're going to finalize this thing. So let's, you know, and so we have yeah, like, yeah. A, we have an advocate for each one of the metrics almost. Okay. All right. I think that's a good idea. Um, more to sort out, but I, I am eager to get the metrics models published so that we have folks. Okay, to... yes. So in the meantime, just to wrap it up, do you want me to go ahead and just plop them out there on the website, even though we don't really have links? Yeah, I mean, our when when you that list there, was mm -hmm. that like, was that like over half of the metrics that weren't developed? A lot. You... Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a lot, but okay. You know, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Do they have? <laughs> well, like, how about this? Maybe um, I, I'll connect with you too, Elizabeth, we can okay. chat tomorrow. But like, okay. Um, maybe even if if we don't have it developed, but we at least have it defined in the metric model to give people a sense of what it is. Yeah. Like just a like that description paragraph would at least be helpful. Yeah. To help okay. people know what it is. So okay. We're six minutes past. It's good to see everybody. Yay. See you. Okay. Bye. Have a good have a good day and have a good have evening. Good okay. Yeah. Bye. See you. Talk to you later. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.